हेलो गाइस माय सेल्फ अर्पित मिश्रा एंड आई एम बैक विद न्यू एविएशन वीडियो आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम विद सम न्यू टॉपिक नेम्ड एस फायर सो बी विद मी टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो सेशन एज इट विल डेफिनेटली बी अ यूजफुल एंड हेल्पफुल इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द फायर टॉपिक वेयर आई विल टॉक अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फायर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द फायर टू अकर एंड फायर एक्सटिंग एजेंट फॉर द रेस्पेक्टिव क्लास ऑफ फायर सो नाउ द इंडेक्स फॉर टूडे सेशन विल बी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द फायर टू अकर इन विच आई विल टॉक अबाउट फ्यूल हीट एंड ऑक्सीजन विच कैन बी द मेजर सोर्स ऑफ फायर टू अकर देन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फायर वेयर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लास ए क्लास बी क्लास सी एंड क्लास डी फायर then types of fire versus extinguishing agent in this topic that will be the my last topic for today's session in which i will discuss about suitable extinguishing agent for the respective class of fire so now let us move to our first topic which indicates the requirement for the fire to occur so i can say fuel heat and oxygen these three makes a triangle which indicate that these three are the major source for the fire to occur so with this i can say if i want to control the Uh, fire content to spread further more i have to work any one of the three so if i am working on the oxygen part which is very easy for me so uh, in um, if i will uh, work on that oxygen part i can control my fire content to spread further more so in aviation also whenever we are using some extinguishing agent what we are doing we don't want that fire to spread further more and we are uh, not letting oxygen to enter into that fire area so that's how we are working on uh, fire content so in short i can say fuel heat and oxygen are the major source for the fire to occur and if we want to control the fire content to spread further more we have to work any one of the three uh, generally we work on the oxygen part so we can control the fire to spread further more now classification of fire in this class a class b and class c these three are considered as the basic class of fire whereas class d fire is not considered as the basic class of fire as it occur because of these three only now class a fire consist of solid material that is a wood or paper class b fire consist of flammable liquid fuel or oil then class c fire consist of electrical equipment you can call any electrical equipment like circuit boards also uh, that will refer to the class c fire then class d fire consist of metallic or flammable uh, metals i can say where i can give example landing gears also where because they are made up of magnesium material so uh, class d consist of flammable metal now the types of fire versus extinguishing agent so as i said that class a fire consists of solid material so in order to extinguish class a fire we have to use water or water based agent water based agent we can say foam and the loaded stream foam is effective uh, or in class a fire and of course the class b fire also then uh, loaded stream is something which i will discuss in my next video but i can say it is also a concentrated wet chemical means it's a kind of acid only we are preferring in class a also class b and class c also we can prefer loaded stream then class b fire prefer co2 halons and dry chemical now in co2 is a gas which is easily available on ground also and also it is cheaper one as compared to halon halon is costlier one and uh, not easily available uh, but uh, generally in aviation we are preferring halons only Uh, nowadays we are uh, carrying these halons in our commercial aircraft uh, in uh, some cylinder form so obviously uh, we are uh, like boeing aircraft uh, these are uh, heavy aircraft so we have all those stuffs in uh, uh, installed in that aircraft so halons uh, in halons also there are few categories so generally in aviation 1301 is preferred uh, uh, whose toxicity rating is 6 and uh, uh, because its toxicity its toxicity rating is high that means it is less hazardous for our environment also and for us also so now dry chemical dry chemical so some example for dry chemical i can give uh, sodium bicarbonate potassium bicarbonate and uh, that mono ammonium phosphate other than these three example there are a lot of example for dry chemical but in aviation we are talking about these three only so uh, Le, uh, in class b fire foam is also very effective but when you prefer uh, in large quantity then only foam is effective foam is water based agent so it is very very effective in class a fire but uh, in class b fire is also it is effective but when you prefer it in large quantity then what about water 
वाटर इज इन इफेक्टिव ऑन क्लास बी फायर सो यू कैन सी वाटर इज इन इफेक्टिव बट वाटर बेस एजेंट दैट इज फोम इज इफेक्टिव ऑन क्लास बी फायर सो बिकॉज वाटर कैन कॉज द फायर टू स्प्रेड फर्दर मोर दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट यूजिंग वाटर इन क्लास बी फायर Now classifier it prefers CO2 and halons. For halons, I want to mention that I have prepared one tabular form in which I have uh, uh, provided you uh, uh, six halons uh, category and uh, based on that their toxicity rating uh, so that you can decide which halon is uh, suitable for our aircraft uh, use or uh, which is not. Then class D fire prefer dry powder. Example for dry powder, I can say sodium chloride powder. then graphite powder and copper powder these are three examples provided by me to you uh, other than that uh, there may be so many examples but in aviation we are preferring these three at least so now uh, in this topic i can uh, uh, say one more note that dry chemical and dry powder thing we are uh, not uh, use in that way that mu- that much quantity because uh, for, they are not recommended uh, to use in our aviation industries uh, nowadays Uh, because uh, when we are using this dry chemical thing they leave some kind of residue which can be toxic and which can be hazardous uh, for that uh, particular component also and for us also that's why it is uh, not good to use dry chemical thing now let us move towards this uh, halon table you can see halon 104 1001 1011 1202 1211 1201 and 1301 based on each toxicity rating you can see toxicity rating 6 is very high that means it is less hazardous and you can see least is 2 that is halon 1001 methyl bromide uh, toxicity rating is very low means it is very hazardous so out of these six i can say halon 104 1001 1011 these three are not recommended for aviation industry means uh, we are not using these three because these are very very toxic for uh, environment also and for us also out of these three halon 104 release some kind of poisonous gases when react with metal L- like phosgene gas they release some kind of phosgene gas which is very very hazardous for us also and for our environment also now uh, based on that so friends uh, this much uh, from my side uh, in related to the fire uh, other topics i will discuss in my next lecture so i hope so you guys uh, have some idea related to the fire topic and it will be very very helpful for you to make a uh, at least a few points in your mind uh, to uh, to remember all these uh, stuffs uh, related to the fire topic and uh, thank you from my side uh, we will meet in next lecture thanks a lot